everybody, welcome back to Defeating Hair Loss. I'm Steve and I got Bobby D back with me. What's up, Steve? Welcome back, Bobby. Thanks for having me as always. Good hair day. <laughs> Great hair day. <laughs> I, I, I really like you, but I gotta be, I, I've got a confession. I've got, it's, it's really, well, you're super nice. You're a yeah. sweet guy. You're on time. You support me so much for my whole quest to help you, but I'm really like kind of in love with your hair. Me too. So, <laughs> me too. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Bobby, for stopping by and thank you, Bobby's hair for making a visit. So here's the <laughs> point of tonight's video, and I'm happy that we have you to, with us to comment, is it's all about realistic expectations. So there's so many different ways that you can watch videos like this. I personally don't really watch too much YouTube anymore, meaning like, because I'm busy doing this, trying to help everybody out there. But what we wanna make sure of as an industry, and remember, I personally wanna to try to raise this industry up to a higher standard to better provide good customer service and good results for all of you out there. So we don't get ahead of ourselves, no pun intended. Mm -hmm. And we're making sure that we're delivering on everything we talk about and potentially promise, including preventative treatments and the real truths about those. Mm -hmm. Right, Bobby? For sure. Yeah. Kind of like your story, right? Mm -hmm. So now that I've got you on the spot without any rehearsing or any of that kind of stuff, so what did you expect from, you had two hair transplants. Yep. Mm -hmm. You had him with your favorite surgeon, Dr. Dan McGrath yeah. in Austin, Texas. He did mm -hmm. mine as well. Very yep. pleased. So what were your expectations in your first procedure? Just kind of throw it out there. Um, I was just, you know, hoping, you know, it was going to work. That was the main thing. I was, <laughs> okay. you know, I, the, I remember the first couple months, nothing happened. And I was freaking out, texting you, Steve, is this working? Did I waste my money? And then... Um, you know, everything turned out all right, thankfully. Thanks to you, you know, helped me out, but. Turned out all right or better It was than good, right? better than all right, yeah. Um, it was really, yeah, exceeded expectations. So. With, without putting words in your mouth, so you pursued the second procedure. I tried to talk you out yeah, of it. So did my mom. I, I thought you looked phenomenal after the first, but we, as an industry, want to make sure we're all looking forward to the potential second procedure for various different reasons, which will be a whole nother video or videos. <laughs> but in regards to your situation, so once you kind of had your hair back, mm -hmm. you're rocking and rolling. Yes, sir. So then for that second procedure, what were your expectations? Um, I don't know about this. I don't know about the same. I, I wanted them to exceed my expectations and it did. It did as well. So, well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for those those kind yeah, words yeah. Of, of your expectations. And I, I know as part of that presentation to help you and set your expectations now. My expectations and where I started versus where Bobby was were way different. And that's why I'm going to talk about one of our kind of, you know, feature Your posters, favorite. my favorite, <laughs> um, you know, John Travolta and Saturday Night Fever. Uh, you, some of you youngins out there may have to Google this or YouTube this. <laughs> but my expectations were like out of this world. Like they were like, you know, up to Pluto or Mars or wherever is out there really, really far away. Mm -hmm. I had very unre unrealistic expectations. I grew up in the Northeast with tons of Italians, tons of Greek and Mediterranean type men, friends, that all had what I used to call polyester heads. It looked like that their hair wasn't real. It was so thick that you couldn't even like get a brush through it. Mm -hmm. And they had to use like a round brush and make it kind of come out. I mean, in like the movie Grease kind of th stuff, it was just ridiculous. So, you know, Losing my hair young, 17, 18, going bald, not having a whole lot going on, right? Just getting out of high school, really. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to save my money, get a hair transplant, and I'm going to want to look like John Travolta. <laughs> and that was, those were my expectations. So, so Vinnie Barbarino, which was in Welcome Back, Cotter, and then Tony Monero, that's John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever, was my hero. And he was only my hero for one reason. The hair. The hair. And when was he my hair hero? Mm -hmm. So in the beginning of every one of our videos, uh, I wanted to make sure that I set it up so that you can see John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever blow drying the hair, getting ready to go out to the, uh, either it was at the Odyssey nightclub or the Apollo, I can't remember which, what they called it, but it was amazing and his hair in his silk shirts and all that. So as I sat in my parents' living room watching this movie, I'm like, you know, yeah, that, like, that's for me. Like, that's what I want. So my hair transplant doctor didn't have any chance whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I'm kind of a quiet, shy guy, believe it or not. I'm trying no, to, no <laughs> well, I'm trying to put some energy into these videos. So pardon me for kind of putting myself in a category, but I really don't go up to anybody. I won't kind of, you know, just imp impede on anybody's personal space. I thank you for watching these videos and sharing my experiences, but I was very, very shy. 
So I'm not going to tell my doctor, who's probably got a lidocaine needle in his hand, hey, by the way, just so we're on the same page, I want to look like John Travolta in yeah. Saturday Night Fever. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure, right? So anyway, we all know how that played out. After a few procedures, that didn't work out too well. I ended up putting a non-surgical hair system on. and But the entire time, as crazy as it sounds, I never really got upset about it. I didn't hold anybody accountable other than like maybe my ancestors or maybe mother nature, somebody like that out there that was cursing me. Now I see it as a blessing because I meet people like Bobby. I have people like you watching me and I'm able to help some of you out there that are suffering. And that means the world to me. So for me to be able to get on this platform and give you information and inspiration, Today, we're talking about realistic expectations. So we talk about the scales of realistic expectations. Mm -hmm. And I use Bobby and myself as an example. Younger guy, better donor hair, better genetics. With the ability to use medicine at a young age, his expectations can be a lot higher than mine because the medicine wasn't around and I have not so good genetics. And I was probably destined to go completely bald at some point, or at least Norwood 5. And you know, it's not sad, it's just a fact. So those of you out there that are looking for some advice, once we get closer to doing some restoration, let's make sure that we get realistic expectations. One of my favorite sayings is, plan for the worst and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. You might say, well, come on, Steve. You're going to send me to one of your featured doctors out there, the elite doctor spend all this money. I should plan for the worst. Well, not necessarily surgically, just based on the components you have and how your expectations should get set up. So I know, Bobby, I'm not asking you to pat me on the back. I'm not asking you to say anything nice, and I'm not looking for anybody to, to come in and let me sell you something. That's not what I'm asking for. But what I would like is for everybody to have an open mind and realize that the internet is loaded with cherry picking results. Mm -hmm. You wanna make sure you see a variation in a doctor's work, not just everything stellar. I don't want you to be misled and I don't want you to get deceived. I want you to have realistic expectations. So, I did not end up looking like John Travolta, although now, now he's bald, so that's kind of the irony of life. Bobby did 10 out of 10. I consider myself like a six and a half because I'll never give myself anything oh, more than good. that. <laughs> But out there for you, make sure you set realistic expectations. We wanna make sure that you're happy and you can move on with your life after you go through this kind of horrific situation with hair loss. I hope all this gibberish and John Travolta stuff and Saturday Night Fever helps you and entertains you or brings some facts to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.